Welcome back to Historical Recreations. I had a friend who gave me this plastic crown. I kind of like the way that this big piece is in the front and the small, smaller pieces are in the back. But as you can see, it looks like, well, plastic. So our job today is to make this look old. This will be going into a photo shoot called the Curiosity Shop. So let's see what we can do with this. Our first part about transformation today I'm using an acrylic black number 38 shield and we are going to get rid of the plastic shine. So we're going to be using here just straight from the straight from the container black and we are going to now coat all of the plastic black. I'm not using any water at all. Basically I'd like some kind of texture that will come through from the paintbrush and the paint itself. That's going to add kind of a metal working. You know, just by adding the black it's already looking like a completely different crown. So let me finish this completely, cover this completely with black and I'll show you the next step. I've coated the plastic crown kind of crudely. We just need to have to get rid of that shiny plastic and we need to put on a texture and that's exactly what this acrylic shield is going to do. Now I also have done a really poor job I just slapped it on there but look at the coolness of this if you wanted to have a goth photo shoot. How cool would this crown look if you did something kind of goth Today's magic colors, we're going to be using a 995 silver acrylic alpha. We're going to be using a, the color numbers, this one's a 999 uh, shiny black acrylic. And then we're also going to be using a 32 olive green, which is also an alpha. And we're using this olive green for contamination purposes. Little guy up. There it is. I'm using some of that olive green. Using a little bit of our this comes out, here it is, our black, and primarily we're going to be using quite a bit of silver today, there, this is layer number one, I'm using a round brush here, and let's mix this together, that's part of our crown, we're going to be using a bit of burnt umber, to be added, this is a brand new tube, to our silver gray, just chuck that away here, extra garbage can, and I'm going to add a bit of blue gray, uh, burnt umber is number 925 alpha, and let's see how, how turned over this is. Okay, I have to open this right up. Sometimes with acrylic paint you're going to have this problem there. I really like this blue gray. Okay, now we're going to mix a bit of the burnt umber right in with the silver to create a corrosion color. Mix in the blue gray as well. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Ooh. Okay, no problem. A little bit more brown. Want more of a rust color. We want to. Okay, now we're hitting it. All right. Whoosh. Just enough. Now we're not going to be using our big round. We're going to be using our fan brush. And I just wet it to make sure there's the spikes on there. Coating that. All right. Here we go. white using a shield, shield acrylic 600 white as a blender good color just enough all right there we go bring more of that brown in there
just enough information to give it tarnish. Don't have to really worry about that. It's not going to be in the photo shoot. Just enough. I'm just lightly going over, not to cover up what we already put on there. There. Now I'm going to do the inside. Only 30 minutes ago, we had a dollar store crown that I actually had to tape up to keep together and this is going to make a really cool prop. The aging, it looks like it was cast. So based on that, that's how you would age and corrode a